Who do you think have been the bigger panickers over the history? Has it been Sony with the the what they've done so far with the Spider stuff, or is it DC and Warner, War, Warner Brothers and how they handled the DC properties? I'm going to say Sony, Scotty, and this is why I'm going to say Sony and Steve. You looked up these numbers earlier. Spider-Man three made over eight hundred million dollars thirteen, fourteen years ago, whatever it was. It made eight hundred. About... Sorry, it made about fourteen million more than a uh, Spider uh, Spider-Man Homecoming. Homecoming, yeah. yeah. So it made a ton of money. And then they're like, no, no, this is a fail. And then they went into Amazing Spider-Man. And Amazing Spider-Man 2 made 700 something million, which was a huge fail. But then Homecoming comes out and it only made 800 something. Like it made in between Spider-Man 2. Now, granted, Amazing mm -hmm. Spider-Man 2 should make more. The sequel should make more. Granted. No Way Home doesn't count on any kind of chart because they threw everything. Like they were just like, you're going to see a three Spider-Man. <laughs> like that was guaranteed. They printed money on that one. But they're totally knee jerk, man. Like, you could have made Spider Man 4 with, with Sam Raimi and Tobey Maguire, and it would have made more, probably, or as much as The Amazing Spider Man, but probably would have been more uh, financially successful because they would have spent less on the marketing because you don't have to because it's the markets itself, less on, on getting a new crew, like all that other stuff. You know, they probably spent more money developing Amazing, whereas they had Spider Man. So, my, for me, Scotty, I don't know about you, but for me, I'm going with Sony. It's tough, man. Uh, Sony's like not been making a lot of noise as far as that goes. I feel like I have to go DC because it's just been more <laughs> like they've had more quantity of panic, I guess, versus and, hey, Sony's <laughs> quantity of panic. panic. Yeah, they so, Joss Weed. They brought Joss Kudos to Sony point. for having less <laughs> reasons to panic. GG, good job. <laughs> I think mean, they've they've both failed pretty. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, uh, Pretty spectacularly, they both. Yeah, like well, no, it's like hard to believe, but some of these companies are making uh, Lucasfilm look pretty okay. <laughs> there, there's some panic right there. I, you know, I just yeah, yeah DC because we need celebration like tomorrow. <laughs> you know what drives me nuts about DC is you have Zack Snyder and he does Man of Steel, and then you're like, okay, you're gonna do a sequel. He goes, okay, this is my sequel. And they're like, okay, make that, and then he makes it. And when I watched them, and I think Batman v Superman is, is a great film, but when I watched it, I was like, oh, people are going to have problems with this. And like, there were mm -hmm. decisions made in it that I was like, people, based on what I heard people say about Man of Steel, I'm like, you're going to have problems with this movie. And so that, <laughs> you know, and, and I'm like, but they allowed this to happen. And then they were like, yeah, but we kind of cut the hell out of it. So uh, here's the, uh, what the unlimited edition, whatever it's called. And you're like, what? Yeah. Okay. But then he comes in with, then they're like, okay, but you're going to make Justice League right after. And he goes, okay, here's my Justice League idea. And they're like, do it. Okay. And it's like 700 pages, which right there should be for the studio, a red flag. If you don't want to have a four hour movie. Right. But then he goes to make it. Then Batman and Superman comes out while he's shooting. And they're like, well, this is like, like at, at what point were they, did they think that that wasn't how it was going to play out? Right. Like, like, so then they're like, oh, you're out. Joss Whedon, you're in. And then when you see the Oof. Snyder cut, and I look, I think the Snyder cut, if Snyder would have stayed on, what we saw on HBO Max would have been different than what would have been in the theater. It probably would have been about probably at least a half hour shorter. And there would have been a lot of differences about it. It still would have been the same basic movie, but there would have been stuff taken out. But but then again, like you have this guy come to you pitching you a movie, and then you're like, no, we're gonna edit it ourselves and we're gonna shrink it down twice. And that that's a bit of a knee jerk for me. Like either you 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 make the movie that Suicide's air cut of Suicide Squad could be the most prime example of this ever. I haven't seen air cut obviously, so I can't speak to it. But like at some point, you've got to be like, if someone pitches you a movie and you green light that movie, you should probably make that movie and have faith in that movie from the get go. Yep, that's what I'm yeah. saying. Like they they I. I I enjoyed the second Suicide Squad movie, but why? You know, like you're making hit films that aren't connected to any of the other stuff that your fans want, man. Just write the material into those stories. And that was all James Gunn, right? He had like no one bitched yeah. at him or anything. Like Matt Reeves, no one mm -hmm. bitched at him. Mm -hmm. Todd Phillips somehow quietly made a Joker movie that ended up quietly making a billion dollars and no one bitched mm -hmm. at them. But uh, I just. You get these know. reports all the time, too, where it's like, okay, I, I was allowed to do this, this, and this, but they said I couldn't do anything with Harley Quinn 
and I can do anything with the Joker. And yep. it's like, well, why not, man? Just build a different persona, like what they're doing right now in the Batman universe. Like, why are you doing that now? I feel like people really had an issue with Snyder. I feel like there was some deeper thing, and I feel like it's the whole Walter Hamada, like Ray Fisher thing. Like, look, there's a, a divide that happened there. Zack Snyder is a very talented visual storyteller, but he's very specific. And that's why I'm excited for Rebel Moon because mm -hmm. Rebel Moon, I don't like I don't think Rebel Moon would have succeeded as a Star Wars movie if Zack Snyder made it cuz Snyder has his own style and, and he, you know, and I I thought it meshed well with DC but but I think he's going to when he does his more Army of the Dead, more Rebel Moons, you're going to see like that is going to be pure Snyder. And his movies are a lot of fun. And let him do I think I think he will be happier dealing with his own IP than than he was with the Warner Brothers stuff for sure. Oh yeah, we're gonna see trying cool to fit in. Stuff. Yeah, like yeah. and Netflix, you know, he can make his four hour movie on Netflix. No one's gonna stop him. He can do whatever he right. wants now. So I yeah. I, they're both look, Warner Brothers, Sony, they're both disasters. For creatives. I, I like I mean Agreed. I would love I would love to get the Morbius director Daniel Smith in a room and be like off the record, talk to me. Yeah, man. That's what, what I would hell like. happened. Yeah, because he not said he did say he did mention uh I don't know who made those edits. So he doesn't know who took the took out or put in the Spider Man poster on the wall. Yep. The two interactions with um the vulture character, you know, like Ugh. I wonder if, if if him and Jared Leto showed up to the premiere watching it like oh what movie was that? <laughs> well, yeah. That was hmm. that was a movie that was wow, when are they gonna show our movie? That was a good <laughs> well I know what Jared Leto did. He he walked out like wow again. Yeah again, two characters. <laughs> yeah two that's two times true. now you cut and that's you cut my movies to pieces. We'll we'll wrap it up now, but I just think the air cut, you have HBO Max. It's just if to me it's a no-brainer. Put the damn thing up there. It's a no brainer. And look, you can always be like, this is just for fun. Watch. Like, I said this to somebody in a comment the other day. We've had 72 Blade Runner cuts. Why can't you just give us a second one of the Suicide Squad? A movie that almost nobody likes. Just give us a cut, the air cut. You did a black and white version of a movie that you didn't even want them to make in the first place. Like. <laughs> Jeez, just do it, please. Release the air cut. I'm, I'm getting tired of saying it. 